Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add our bubble overlays in Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS, but this will work in all versions of CS and CC. So what you want to do is open up your picture that you want to add your bubbles to, and then go up to File and click on Place. Then you just need to find where you have your bubbles saved. I'm going to put mine here. And then they'll pop up. Now you can resize them if you want. I'm going to keep these ones bigger as they are, but I'm going to show you how to resize them anyway. So you have to hold down your shift key and click a corner and you can drag it and make them smaller or you can make them bigger. Um, but you have to make sure that you hold that shift key because if you don't, then it will distort your bubbles and make them all sorts of funny shapes. So you want to make sure that you hold down that shift key to make it in proportion. And then you can hit enter or you can click this check mark up here to place it. Okay, now I'm going to move mine around a little bit. All you have to do to move it is to hold on to it and drag it around. I'm going to put mine right about here. Okay, and then go over here to your layers panel. Yours might be somewhere else on your screen depending on how you have your Photoshop set up. If you don't see your layers panel, go up here to window and go down to layers and click on that and your check mark should pop up. All right, so we're going to change the blend mode. So go over here to where it says normal and click on it and then go down to screen. That's what I like to use for the bubbles. You can click on some other ones and see what they do, but my favorite one for these overlays is screen. All right, and then if you click on the background, you can see what that looks like here without my transformation controls here. All right, uh, I'm going to add a few more bubbles to that. I like these ones because they're bigger, so they look like they're closer to the camera, but I feel like I want to add a couple more. So I'm just going to click on Place, and I'm going to go down here and grab my smaller bubbles just to add more that seem like they're closer to the subject. So I'm going to go over here again, click on Screen, and that's it. Now, if you want to erase some of your bubbles, if there's one somewhere where you don't want it to be, you can click on this button down here to create a layer mask and that's what this white box is here and then you want to come over here and grab your brush tool and you want to make sure it's a soft black brush so your hardness needs to be at zero you can change the size to whatever you need it to be and it needs to be black and then you can just come over here and you can just paint over the bubbles that you want to get rid of and you'll get rid of them now if you erase too much or you decide no I really like that bubble there I want to bring it back you can change your brush to a white brush and paint it back on. And that's it. All you have to do now is go up to File, Save As, choose your name and your location where you want to save it, and you're done.